Hi, and welcome to Lamb of Yoga's Earth Hour Flow in the Dark. My name is Agnes. I'm a registered yoga teacher, uh, 200 hour RYT, from my vinyasa practice. And today, as we celebrate Earth Hour 2022, I'm inviting you to practice with me. Let's take this time to uh, practice yoga and meditate for the whole time that we are turning off our lights and unplugging from everything that consumes energy as we try to conserve energy. All right, so let's begin. This is going to be a full hour practice. So from 8.30 to 9.30, we will be having our yoga and meditation practice. So this is a vinyasa flow, which means we are, um, we are going to have a um, yoga practice that involves uh, varied poses and meditation. For the first few minutes, we are going to set up our breaths and warm up and then after that, we're going to flow with different poses and after that, we're going to cool down and meditate. So I hope you guys stick around and let's begin. Now, find yourself in, a most, in your most comfortable seated position. You can sit on a pillow like this one or a block or a book, however you like, so that you can um, sit comfortably, sit nicely, or even just sit on the mat. And I hope you guys are using a candle or um, a low light so that we can practice this as solemn as possible. It's also um, advised to turn off your notifications or mobile, um, airplane mode and close the door if you need some privacy. Now, now that you're settled in, let's begin by sitting up tall, nicely and gently. Find some energetic blockages around your body. Maybe you feel any tension around your neck or maybe around your chest and uh, lower back. So allow yourself to make some freestyle movements here. Freestyle movements, so organic movements. Or you may also flicker flutter your um, hands, wrist rotations, and just let go of the things that you've been doing for the whole day. Try to notice the transition from this time uh, with the time that you've been doing before to, to prepare for this earth hour. And from here, go ahead and take a deep breath through the nose. Take an inhale, allow your chest to rise. Hold it. And exhale, let it go. Inhale. Make a sound. And exhale. Take a few more here, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. When you're doing your breath work, allow yourself to make a sound as the Ujjayi breath recommends to make that wave ocean wave sound so just through your nostrils take notice the air passing through inhale exhale inhale 
Exhale. Now, maybe this time you'd like to close your eyes and just follow my voice. Or gently soften your gaze down to floor. Relax. And notice Notice the sounds around you. Notice the light coming into your eyes. Even notice the air brushing your skin. Now this time, notice your thoughts. Allow them to come and allow them to go. Recentering, finding your breath. Allow yourself to think deeply and focus in your breath. As you take inhales, allow yourself to absorb the calming energy of the light. And as you exhale, allow yourself to release the energetic blockages. If you're closing your eyes, maybe try to imagine a thousand stars above you. Or maybe try to imagine how your nights are spent, where you most feel calm, at peace, rested. If your eyes are closed, or if, you're, if you've just softened your gaze down the floor, maybe try to close your eyes completely and try to look into the center between your eyebrows. As you focus on your breath, try to imagine one object between your eyebrows. Notice the vibration in your body and try to connect with whatever that's transpiring during your practice. It's all right if your thoughts come quickly as you take the deep breaths. And it's also okay to let them pass. Just follow your breath, noticing your body, your mind, your spirit. Take three deep breaths here through the nose. Inhale, rise. Lift your chest. Hold. And exhale, let it go. Inhale one more time. One last time. Inhale through the nose. 
and make a sigh, maybe exhale through the mouth. Take a moment here, and placing our palms in heart center, prayer hands. Take a few moments here to think your think about your intentions. These are simply personal. There's no right or wrong answer here. Just think about whatever you feel like you need or identify your whys in coming to the mat and practicing yoga. It could be for your body, it could be for your mind. It's really up to you. go ahead and take this moment to place your palms on top of your knees. Feel the warmth of your palms and allow yourself to make those organic movements once again. Maybe you'd like to soften your gaze down the floor or keep them closed. Feel your body here. And practice that in every movement, you are taking one inhale and one exhale. And from here, come back to neutral. Let's take an inhale, raising our palms up and gazing all the way to the sky. Imagine reaching up to the stars and imagine how little you are around the earth. Exhale, spreading our hands, our arms all the way to the side like a horizon. Imagine as if we are the horizon from the ocean. And go ahead and take an inhale, lifting our, ha our right hand all the way to the sky and resting our left palm down the mat. Reach all the way to the left for a side stretch, gaze to the sky. Take two deep breaths here, inhale. And exhale, release. Inhale to the other side, placing to the left. Gaze to the sky, feel that shoulder stretch and spine stretch here. Inhale. And release. Coming back to horizontal arms, take an inhale. Get Reach all the way to the sky. Now exhale, cactus the arms like a letter Y or a fork and gaze all the way to the, to the sky. Arms or shoulder blades are squeezed. Lift your chest all the way up like opening your heart chakra. And exhale, chin to chest and elbows together inhale rise a cactus the arms squeeze the shoulder blades exhale chin to chest elbows together maybe tuck in your belly here and inhale cactus the arms exhale from here, placing our palms down the tops of our knee. And gently place your left palm on top of your right knee and lift and place your right arm at the back, at the back of your glutes. So 
make it close, as close as you can get, or you can also just reach for your um, opposite hip. But for support for your spine, make it as close as you can to your glutes. And look all the way to the left, to the right as you inhale. Feel your spine twisted here. Three more breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One last time, inhale, and exhale, release. Bam, back to neutral. And this time, let's place, let's take the opposite side right palm on the left knee and back hand back arm straightened supporting the spine close to the place close to the glutes and take an inhale turn to your left or to the back or maybe the corner of your left eye inhale Three more breaths. Feel your shoulders stretched here. Feel your lower back. And release, come back to center. From here, let's simply take um, a hip stretch the soles of our feet together if you can place them as close as your uh, close to your pelvis or your belly or far it's up to you just make sure that you're comfortable and at the same time feel that your hips here and your pelvis are trying to open okay so grabbing with our peace fingers our toes and inhale here first and gently exhale, dropping down our chins to the ground, allowing gravity to take us down. One more inhale, exhale. If this is not accessible to you, you may place your palms down the floor and walk yourself a little bit far as much as comfortable as much as it is comfortable for you and just allow to let your hips open here inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale, release. Walk yourself back to neutral. Folding our knees here. And from here, let's lift our, um, let's place our left leg down to, uh, to the right side, to the left side rather, I'm sorry. And let's place our, folding our right leg just here, just right here, close to our pelvis, and try to reach for your toes. If that's not available to you, reach for your shins or your knee, and try to feel your hamstring stretch here, the back of your knee, all right? So you can try to adjust your hips here, externally um, rotate to the left side, and reach for your shins or your toes as much as you can. And with every exhale, try to lower your chin close to your leg. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale.
exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale and release. Let's scoop our knees here, the crease of our knees and turn to the other side. Right leg stretch to right side and try to uh, uh, um, face the left, uh, the right leg and feel your hamstring stretch here. Try to reach for your toes or your shins. And with every exhale, you lower your forehead or chin close to your legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last time, inhale and exhale, release, scooping the crease of our knees. And from here, let's place our both legs forward, flexing our toes, pointing to the sky, placing our palms just beside our hips. Maybe try to wiggle your legs here. And take an inhale, flexing our feet to the sky or maybe gaze up. And exhale, point forward, toes pointing forward. Flex your ankles here. Inhale. Exhale. Five more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one last time, inhale, exhale, and from here let's scoop our crease back to the mat, and maybe take some freestyle movements first. And find yourself to your first, um, maybe place your pillow or block to the side and find yourself on your first tabletop pose. So when we do tabletop, make sure that your shoulders are stacked on your wrist and your hips are stacked on your knees and let the tops of your feet rest down the mat. Gaze down your gaze down the mat first, neutral, like a table, and gently lift your tailbone up and look all the way to the sky. Inhale and exhale, placing our chins to our chest, arching our spine here. Inhale, gaze up. Tailbone up, exhale, inhale, gaze to the stars, exhale, feel the shoulders here, inhale, exhale, warming up the spine, inhale, and release, come back to neutral. And from here, let's place our palms, walking our palms to the, far, to the uh, top of our mat and take an exhale here for puppy pose. Make sure that your tailbone is aligned with your um, knees, all right? So gently stretch your shoulder blades or your uh, the back, um, your shoulders and the back of your neck, all right? And also elongate your spine as much as you like. Whatever makes feel that makes you feel comfortable here. You can also try this, placing our 
uh, knees as wide as the mat for a hip opener puppy pose. And place our um, forehead down the mat. Take three inhales and exhales. And release, come back to neutral. And from here, let's go ahead and do some bird dog pose. So gently lifting our, reaching our right hand forward and our left leg all the way to the back extended. So the opposite limbs are trying to reach or stretch or extend as wide as the horizon like the ocean. Take an inhale here and exhale. Reach, the elbow reaches to the knee. Inhale, reach to the, uh, to the horizon. Exhale, elbows to knee. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbows to knee and release. Let's take the other side. Left arm reaches out and right leg extends. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. One last time. Inhale. And release. And from here, let's place ourselves in a child's pose. So child's pose is the resting pose. You may rest here at any time that you feel like you need some time or take a moment to rest, all right? So when we do child's pose, let's make sure that we're sitting on the uh, heels, on our heels or the heels are cradling your glutes and you can also, you can place your knees together like this and letting your um, abdomen sit on your lap, on the top of your lap or you can um, spread your knees wide as the mat and try to walk your hands all the way to the mat and place your forehead or your chin down the mat, all right? Like feel the ground, feel the earth here. Take a moment here to rest. Now go ahead and on your next inhale, try to find yourself in a low lunge. So maybe adjust your hands here and place your feet, your right foot in between your hands, your palms. And maybe lift yourself all the way up for a low lunge, reaching to the stars and let your back leg rest behind. Allow your hips here to open or your quads trying to get engaged. Active feet here. Feel, allow your toes to feel the earth. Gaze forward or gaze all the way to the sky. Two more breaths, inhale. And release, dropping our palms down the mat. Let uh, now let your um, switch sides. Back, uh, right foot at the back, and left foot in between the palms. Allow yourself here to rise and engage with your glutes or 
your quads and feel your toes. Engage also your spine. Three inhales and exhales. One last time, inhale. And exhale and release. Adjust yourself. And from here, we're going to move forward for our flowing vinyasa. So now allow your knees to drop down the mat and lower yourself down for a modified Shaptaranga. Your elbows here are, are hugging your rib cage and your chin is trying to touch the mat. Sliding yourself all the way down. Take a moment here and inhale. Rise for Cobra or gently find yourself for upward facing dog. Like how a dog stretches and reaches up to the sky with their head or their nose. And exhale to child's pose. On your next breath, inhale, rise. Find yourself at the top of your mat. Standing pose. Make sure that your feet are together and your hands are um, right beside your hips. And go ahead and gaze forward at the top of your mat. Now take a moment here first and allow yourself for some gentle movements. And gently sit low and inhale, raise, lift your hands all the way to the sky for chair pose. So we are sitting as if sitting on a chair. Feel your quads and your glutes here. Notice, come back to your breath. And exhale, drop the palms down for forward fold, folding our knees here. So if this is not accessible to you, you can place your uh, palms on your shins or your knee. So this is the time when we exhale. Now when we inhale, half lift or gaze forward, allowing your, um, or your knee to curl. And exhale, come back to forward fold and step back your knee, uh, your, your legs all the way to the back for high plank. So when we do high plank, we can, it's normal to curve our spine or to arch our spine here, but it's also best to try to straighten your back here, lifting your glutes. And exhale, slide down or placing our knees to the mat and allow your chin to reach all the way the, to the mat. And inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale to child's pose. On your next breath, inhale, uh, come to come back to standing pose and inhale reach all the way to the sky exhale swan diving try to um, expand your expand your feet here and reach all the way to the sky for a chair pose exhale drop for forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, and please, and step back to um, high plank, 
Once again, try to lengthen your spine here and lift your glutes or place your knees down the mat and exhale for Chaturanga. Hugging the rib cage and inhale for Cobra or upward facing dog, straightening the arms or the uh, elbows. And exhale. Find yourself on your first downward facing dog. So when we say downward facing dog, we are trying to lengthen here our spine, straighten our spine, and allow your fingers to spread as wide as you can and gaze between your feet and allow your ears to touch your bicep, your biceps. And maybe try to um, pedal your legs here to give a warm, uh, comforting stretch for your hamstrings if um, your heels can't reach the floor. All right. So, but if you're, but if you can reach your heel down the mat, it's also okay. It's also to curl up your knees here and make sure that your tailbone is reaching as wide as high as you can take two breaths here and release come back to chaturanga elbows hugging the rib cage and cobra or inhale to upward facing down exhale child's pose and on your next breath find your way back to standing at the top of your mat and inhale to chair pose exhale standing make some organic movements here maybe wiggle your um, legs or your wrist and on your next breath take an inhale for chair pose exhale forward fold allow your head to hang here for red ball maybe make some um, shoulder or your neck neck stretches or maybe reach for your elbows maybe make some nose or some yes and release now on your inhale on your next inhale gaze all the way for lift uh, or for half lift hands on your shins or knees Exhale, step back, find yourself for high plank, and exhale, chaturanga, hugging our rib cage with our elbows, dropping the tops of your feet down the mat, cobra, inhale, our upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, tucking our toes. And on your next breath, step your right foot between your palms and allow your back leg to straighten and cartwheel your arms for warrior two and allow your back knee to adjust at 45 degree angle. So it's like pointing to a 45 degree angle or maybe find some adjustments here and make sure that when you're doing warrior two, you are um, stacking your knee on top of your ankle or your feet, all right? And spread or extend your arms here as wide as the horizon. And gently inhale for reverse warrior two, reaching our back hand all the way to the back crease of our knee and our right arm is reaching all the way to the sky 
and exhale, cartwheel the arms, come back to the ground and return our the back of our knee forward or straightened and allow yourself to step your left or your right leg all the way to the back or also you may also place your uh, left knee a little bit center on the mat and lift your right leg all the way to the sky sending it to the stars for a three-legged dog it's okay if you can uh, send it just a little bit close but you can also send it all the way to the sky as much as high as you can and maybe do some big circles here don't forget to breathe inhale two more breaths And exhale, release. From here, let's slide ourselves back to high plank and step forward back to standing. Exhale. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Exhale, step back our right leg all the way to the back and cartwheel the arms for warrior two. Again, checklist, knee stacked on the uh, ankle and back leg is uh, pointing at 45 degree angle while the hands or the arms are extended across the horizon inhale exhale and In, inhale uh, reverse warrior two placing our back arm uh, at the back of our cre uh, at the back of our knee and lift your um, front arm all the way to the sky gaze all the way up and exhale cartwheel down the mat and find some adjustments here and exhale place your back um, your left knee your left leg all the way to the back and find and place your right foot in between the mat and lift slowly lift your back or your left leg all the way to the sky for a three-legged dog Maybe do some circles. Inhale. Exhale. And release. And from here, slide yourself back to high plank. And lower yourself down for Chaturanga. Inhale, gaze all the way to the front for Cobra or upward facing dog, straightened elbows and exhale to child's pose. Take a few moments to rest here. Allow your um, abdomen to sit on your lap. Feel the ground of the earth here. And from here, come back to tabletop pose and find your way back to the top of your mat. And let's do one more vinyasa flow. Inhale, reach up to the sky for standing. And swan dive all the way for chair pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, and find yourself for high plank. 
inhale, lift, and, play, and step your right leg between your palms. And inhale for warrior one of our high lunge. So when we do high lunge, our, our arms are reaching all the way to the sky, but our back knee is just stopped, pointing forward or straightened. And when we do warrior one, we place our back foot at 45 degree angle. So this is warrior one, our hands reaches up to the sky and this is warrior two for um, our hands are horizontally parallel and making sure that our knee is stacked on our uh, ankle all right take a few breaths here inhale feel your spine your glutes your quads and exhale for peaceful warrior, our our um, our back, we are grabbing onto our the crease of our back leg and extending our arm all the way to the sky, right arm all the way to the sky, and exhale, cartwheeling the hands all the way to the side and take. A moment here to find some side angle our palms our right palm is placed next to our to the outside of our right foot and our um, front knee is still stacked and try to reach for the sky with your left hand gaze all the way to the sky and exhale come back down to set um, down the mat and maybe do some twist here, placing our uh, left palm to the inside of our right foot and reach and our right hand reaches to the sky. This is twisted side angle. Take a few breaths here and exhale release. Coming back to child's pose. On your next breath, when you're ready, take an inhale, come back, find yourself back to standing. Inhale, raise, lift yourself up all the way. And exhale, neutral. Inhale, chair pose, gaze forward or all the way to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, gaze and lift up. Exhale, forward fold and find yourself for a high plank. And lower yourself down for Chaturanga. Gaze forward, lift up for Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to child's pose. And on your next inhale, come back, find yourself, step back, step forward your left knee between your palms and find yourself, lift yourself up for um, warrior one, I, I mean high lunge, high lunge first, uh, toes are pointing in one direction forward gaze forward and lifting our hands to the sky and exhale externally rotate your back foot at 45 degree angle making sure again our top of our our forward our front leg is the knee is stacked on top of the uh, ankle lifting all the way to the sky our hands and exhaling for um, warrior two arms like the horizon and inhale for peaceful warrior holding on to the back of our back leg left hand reaches all the way to the sky breathe and exhale come back 
find yourself for a side angle, but left side first. Palms on the outside of our front foot and right hand reaches up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Find some twist here. Placing our right uh, palm on the inside of our left leg and extending our right, our left arm all the way to the sky, twisted side angle. Allow your quads to feel the sensation and exhale, find yourself for child's pose. Take a few moments here to rest or maybe find yourself for um, find yourself for a resting um, Shavasana or corpse pose back of the body lay down the floor down the mat Placing our palms to the sides. And maybe place your uh, soles of your feet just close to your glutes here. Our knees pointing to the sky. And maybe take an inhale and interlace your fingers under your glutes. Lifting your hips all the way. Engage your glutes here, or just feel your glutes here. If this is not available for you, you may just place your um, uh, your feet a little bit higher or closer to your glutes, and just um, place a pillow or a block to lift yourself a little bit high okay so the mo the target here or the goal here is to make an arch on your spine as you're resting all right so if that is not accessible to you you may do that or just place your um, soles of your feet close to your glutes interlacing the fingers underneath lifting the hips Take a few breaths here, inhale. Notice your thoughts here and let them go. And find yourself back to release and maybe do some windshield wipers. Swinging our knees side to side, left to right, right to left. Or maybe do some more hip openers here, placing your soles of your feet to, uh, in, um, together and close to your glutes. If this is not available to you, you may just allow yourself to rest, extend your legs all the way to the back of your, to the ends of your mat. All right? And if you like more arching of the back here, you may place the pillow or the bolster underneath your back and allow your um, knees to point to opposite sides and rest your palms or your arms sideways. Take some time here. Allow yourself to cool down. And if you like, 
you go ahead and place your um, put your legs together as if an eagle as if eagle legs right over left this time and place your um, legs your eagle legs to the right side of the mat you can place it outside or inside and extend your arms here and look away from your legs so you're looking at the opposite side take the left and feel your spine twisted here for supine twist feel your hips your shoulders and feel the gap between your ears from your shoulders three inhales and exhales and release come back to center release your legs and take the opposite side right over uh, left over right and point or rest your eagle legs to the left side of the mat and look gaze to your right hand extended feel your spine twist here allow yourself to cool down as you stretch your body rest it down the earth and allow the gravity to absorb you or absorb the energy within you and release come back to the neutral you may stay here as long as you like uh, let your legs extend all the way to the ends of the mat or reach as far as high as you can maybe do a stretch a big huge stretch as if you just woken up in the morning make a sigh or you may also find yourself um, coming into a seated position sit on your pillow or a block and let's take a moment here to meditate you may close your eyes or gaze down the floor or you may also just stay um, lay down down the mat take an inhale and exhale one more time inhale deep inhale through the nose And simply think about why or your whys of coming here in your practice. Maybe review or recall your intentions that you set before this practice. Try to notice the air brushing your skin. Or even notice the vibration around the room. As you make sounds through your breaths, try to visualize what is outside, outside of this building, outside of this town. outside of this island or this place that you live in what is outside of this country imagine
question, what is outside of this planet? Try to look at yourself from the outside. slowly visualize everything that matters to you the most. Allow yourself to hold space for those things that matter to you the most. Now gently come back and visualize yourself from this present moment, maybe you'd like to visualize everyone else who are honoring this earth hour. On our next breath, placing our hands, heart center, pray in our hands. The light in me honors the light in you. Bowing our heads. Namaste. Thank you for coming to our Earth Hour Flow in the Dark Yoga and Meditation. I am so honored to be your teacher for tonight. I hope you rest well and I hope you enjoy this practice. Thank you and I will see you soon.